Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Angel Baby, and I am back with another video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and you want to hit that notification bell. So that way, anytime I drop a video, you will be notified. What happened to Danity Kane? Why did the band break up? Um, Diddy fired me on, on the sixth, I think it was the sixth season. At the very end, he fired me. Why? Um, not for the reasons he said on TV. What did he say on TV? On TV, it was like, to sum it up quickly, was like, you're wiling out. I was hanging out with Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. We were best friends. He thought I was like, uh, he basically like told me I was going in a hoe direction and I needed to like cut ties with everybody. So that was the public facing commentary as to yeah, why wild ho rebellious you'll never work again was kind of like the last few line the last few interpretations of me what the truth was is what probably what you can imagine i don't i don't know legally what i can say or can't well it looks like ario day found out exactly what she could and could not say and baby let me tell you she is telling it all okay Aubrey is claiming that Diddy tried to buy her silence. And Aubrey says, no, she is not going for that. Not only her silence, but other ex-Bad Boys artists, allegedly, when he gave them back their publishing rights. And Aubrey say that wasn't worth jack. Aubrey O'Day did a sit down exclusively with TMZ for the to be downfall of Diddy which would focus on the raids and everybody's coming out stevie j you got aubrey o'day you got misa hilton some of everybody is coming out and they are speaking and talking about the downfall of diddy y'all so apparently what diddy does is you know he gets these artists well this is what he's done in the past they get that hit he gets the money he cuts them off and he takes all the publishing okay well Last year, according to Aubrey, Diddy um, wanted to give them back their publishing rights. But these publishing rights came with strings attached, you guys. We'll just start off with the monetary gain. Aubrey O'Day alleges that she, he was offering $300.30. Now, that is just straight an insult. Like, I hope that, like, these numbers are accurate because... $300.30 and he made millions off of y'all allegedly that would piss anybody off like that right there is just like you're not trying to make things right you're trying to fucking agitate me with that number Aubrey goes on to say when she went into the deal didn't say anything about them gaining monetary you know what I'm saying getting their finances up just the $300.30 she calculated she said in fact his publishing deal asked her not to be able to access her story or her experiences anymore. So, like, she can't talk about it. Aubrey also claims that she has to release Puff of any claims of wrongdoing or any actions that will be prior, meaning before um, the date that she signs that paper. Now, she says she also had to sign an NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement, Never to talk bad about Puff, Bad Boy, Janice Combs, Justin Combs, Music, EMI, or Sony ever in public, allegedly. Diddy's cap did release a statement basically saying that Aubrey got on because of Diddy, because he put her in Danity Kane and he put her on that show. He also said that he reassigned her her portion of the publishing, which he didn't have to do. And what he's saying also is contrary to what Aubrey may believe, everybody did not have to sign an NDA. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Just the people that he terrorized and violated, in my opinion. Now, Aubrey has shared a little bit of her experience, you know, as far as being in Danity Kane. She says she was heavily, heavily addicted to um you know pills um she actually had to go do psychedelic therapy in bali and she said it was very very helpful for her and she's still like going through a battle and everything but she's learning to deal with a lot of things 
that's going on. And she's actually, you know, the most vocal one. It's always been the most vocal. You know, seems like the strongest one in the group. Aubrey was always the one to stand up to Diddy and speak. Even though he would come at her harshly, she still would try to talk and get her point across. She's very headstrong that way. In fact, you guys, just recently, okay, with this publishing deal, allegedly, Aubrey didn't want to sign it. And Puff's bodyguard, Gene Deal, if you guys know him, you know, he's been very vocal, talking about all of Diddy's little nasty shenanigans. Well, allegedly, Puff told Gene Deal that he would get them bitches and drug them and, um, you know, pimp them out to his boys if they don't sign that deal, allegedly. So Aubrey said that she didn't sign that deal, but the statement that Puff's camp is giving out, they said that they reassign her her publishing rights. So does she have them or does she not have them? Like, did she sign that $300.30 thing? Like, what's going on? Now, Aubrey is also claiming that all these allegations that are coming out, she said she knew everything from the beginning. Like, from when she was in Danity Kane. So, my only thought is, damn, what have these girls actually seen? They must have seen a lot. They must have been through so much. Especially for someone to have to come out and say... You can never speak on me. You can never speak on your experience. You have to just suck it up. Because I'm rich, you just have to sit here and suffer in silence. And you don't get to speak. And I can do whatever the hell I want to you. That is insane to me, you guys. But there has been people, different people who have come out and spoke. Um, I know Freddie P spoke about how he was silenced. And how did he threaten to buy every house in his neighborhood and cut the electricity off? And every time anybody walked outside, they, he would bust a cap in their ass. I mean, I'm serious. These are the things that this man is allegedly saying, you guys. He is off the hook and he is off his rocker. And the only thing I'm thinking is, when is this indictment coming? Because... They keep saying there's an indictment, there's an indictment. Something don't seem right. Something is fishy. Because like I said before, even when they went to Michael Jackson's house to raid, they took him down and did a mugshot. Okay, and they didn't even really find nothing in his house. Why isn't Diddy arrested? I'm going to tell you why. I believe he is the feds, y'all go ahead and end this video i really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinion on this whole situation thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe till next time bye guys